Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be recapping this Xbox drive. Now, of course, I've done this a couple of times, never on camera, of course. However, a customer has requested that we recap their drive and we're gonna see if that's actually necessary. Without further ado, let's begin. All right, so we're... clearly it was ready to go. All right, and I've already removed all the screws, so this thing is quite literally falling apart. In order to remove the PCB, you push the tabs outward, and you will, of course, have a ribbon right here, which you'll need to dislodge. I've already done that. Set this to the side for safekeeping. We'll be replacing these five capacitors right here. Well, that's interesting. It looks like we have a little bit of corrosion. I must admit that when I opened up this DVD drive, it did smell a little musky. Perhaps there was, uh, there's been moisture in this console at some period of time. Well, it looks to be the only area that has this corrosion issue. What about the back side? Yeah, best I can tell, everything looks great. Let's go ahead and start some recapping. Probably ought to check continuity on these lines just for the heck of it. We'll check it from here to here, that looks good. And we'll check it from here to here, also good. And from here to here, also good. So we'll go ahead and use some alcohol to clean up that corrosion just a tad. All right, and now the first capacitor to replace is this 220, six volt. And it looks like there may be three of these, 220, 220, and 220. And it twists off just like that. Go ahead and get that vacuum going. And we'll go ahead and lower our temperature down because this PCB is a little bit more delicate than the Xbox PCB. Don't know if I'll have an easy time testing the ESR on this capacitor. Probably should have done it before I removed it because I busted off the legs. We're gonna be using this ESR meter right here. Let's go ahead and see what it says, if we can even test this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and install our replacement. Clean up this solder pad first. And in one of our previous videos, a YouTuber had mentioned that you want to use this method for soldering on the capacitor. Our good buddy Nick at Nick's Electronics also uses this method when installing capacitors. And now you just add solder to the other side. This is a very delicate PCB, so I don't recommend checking too hard when you do this, just to make sure it's soldered on. I touched it a little bit here. All right, and let's go ahead and check the ESR on the other ones. I believe this can do it in circuit, we'll find out right now. So this other 220, it's also reporting two ohms, 2.13, and then the other 220, 0.350 ohms. The 116 volts is 1. Point, is 0 0.364. It was 1.25 earlier, and the 4716, 0, 010. So I guess that one's like that. Oh, now it's a 3.30 or nine. That's 9.32. Okay. We'll have to do some comparisons at the end of the video to see if those even matter. So I'll go ahead and rip off the remainder of these 226 volts.
right, and we have the 116. So far, none of these capacitors have been leaking, best I can tell. All right, and we have one final capacitor to remove. You'll be using a toothbrush just like this to clean up the flux. All right, I have everything back in the console. Let's go ahead and hook up our AV and power. Let's go ahead and power this on. And of course, we're gonna need a game. Halo 2's always been a trusty favorite for people. Mmm, looks like this drive needs a little bit of help still. Well, I don't see anything smoking, and I don't see anything bursting into flames. It's loading. Yeah, I'd say that's a job well done. We'll probably have some comparisons on the ESR values of the capacitors over here, brand new versus the old ones that were in the drive. If you found this video helpful or useful, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Until next time.